the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see nothing with a timer on it. The top of the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I said another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good morning. How you doing, sir? Look at you. Looking like Moses. Went up to the, you went up to the mountain. <laughs> well, you're doing fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> living, living the dream. How you guys right. doing this morning? We do good. We 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 covered with the topic we was talking about today was does other gospel teach people to steal, kill, and destroy? Uh, does it give the right to do the things the opposite of teaching of Christ? And man, we, <laughs> hey brother, I said we, <laughs> I, I told brother, I said it may it may depress him something. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's real. We were comparing to what happened. Look at this. We'll show you an example. Uh, Pope you say Mitchell. do other God? You say do other gospels teach you to steal, kill, kill and, and destroy? destroy? Yeah. Other gospels? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you the script I'm coming from. Just let you know. Okay. We we didn't get to it, but uh, here it is right here. I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, this is uh, no other gospel, right? This is what we're talking about in Galatians 1, starting chapter 1 first. I marvel uh -huh. that you are so uh -huh. soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another gospel. And that's we, we said that at the beginning of the uh, service. It's yeah, that, that was gospel. my yeah, yeah, that was my same point. If it's it can't be the gospel, if right. that's what it's teaching, right. you can't call it a gospel. Right. But yeah, I got with you. I'm with you. Go ahead. Yeah, they're, they're, people refer to <laughs> it. Jimmy, that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. Like, oh, yeah, exactly. Is there another exactly. gospel? <laughs> yeah, and apparently, no such thing. right? And that was the Bible was clear. And I was like, well, people cloaked themselves. You know what I mean? So, 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 what we did was because of that, and what we was given some foundational uh, historical accounts of where people did do that, right? So this is this is the this is the. the we had a whole bunch of them like this. I'm gonna go this. We'll come this right. one right here. But look, gotcha. we're, showing, <laughs> we're showing all these the church uh, ministries, right? People that call themselves. We're talking about the biggest Christian church at that time was this one, right? So this is the la this is the last one was given. And, and and go ahead. Did you finish reading that, brother? I don't think you yeah. read this one, did you? Yeah, I read this one. Yeah, I think okay. you, I think you're giving them a lot of liberties to call them a church. It's a perversion of the truth, but <laughs> there I hear what you're saying. There you yeah. That's the whole point. That is the whole this is, point. These are individuals who are using the the, the church. Yes. Or the title. The, the title of being a church or mm. the title of being pope and the position of power to gain wealth. Mm -hmm. Basically, to kill, steal, and destroy others. Yeah, right. that we, he has the one we know, to under the yeah. premise that it is sanctioned by God. Exactly. And matter of fact, this one before that, Jimmy actually said it right here. Kirk, uh, you have one again for us, brother Addison. This, this is look at this one. This is to confirm the Portuguese trade rights. King Alfonso V appealed to Pope Nicholas V for support, seeking the moral authority of the church for his monopoly. The bull of 19, I mean of 1452 was addressed to Alfonso V and conceded, conceded Portugal's rights to attack, conquer, and subjugate Saracens and pagans. Mm -hmm. And we even gave a depth, we even showed you what the a Saracen and what a pagan was. They first started out with Europe. The pagan. Well, you know, well, let, me, let me let me ask a question. 
I mean, we don't have to go back that far. What are our most <laughs> mega church? What are most mega churches doing now? And let, and let me just let me just say this. We just said uh, it. What 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 about a lot of black churches? Woo. I mean, come on, we got to ask to worship. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We did. Okay, yeah, okay, we okay, did. okay. Look, Jay, we, it's on, all about... we on the same page because I was okay. like, hold up, this is happening right now. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's become a, it's a, it's a business. It's a business, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a, I don't have a business. I am the business. Yes. Sir. That's right. I'm a business man. Yeah. I'm about my business, <laughs> which is, my business is getting your business to give me its finances. Come on now. So I can go yeah. It's the exploitation of God's people Come to on. finance my lifestyle. Yes, it's sir. called, in my opinion, the ultimate taking the name of the Lord thy God in yes, vain. Amen. You're endorsing something that he never sanctioned yes. on, so man. as to manipulate the people to believe this is God's plan. Yes, and sir. therefore, even though it wasn't, it works out in my plan. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It benefit me. Yeah. Big time. It, and that's what they, that's what they're talking about. The fact is, we I mean, the fact that we this is the same playbook that we even go we went all the way back to Genesis with yeah. uh, with Eve, right? Because yeah. she yeah. saw us, she said, "Oh, this fruit with this is something to desire to make one wise." You know, it's a personal she, thing. Yeah, she had a little manipulation in that too to help her, help convince her of that. Yeah, she had a little outside help. Oh, right. to, make her, to convince her that it was yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and the funny thing about it, like that, the, the historical thing was that a uh, uh, king going to go to a pope right. for moral authority to yeah. steal, kill, and destroy. And then you were just showing the example of modern day where people manipulate to do the same thing. They might not be doing the kill part, right? But they definitely doing the steal part. Well, the thing about it is, is that if I can find a position whereby you're devoted to mm -hmm. and dedicated to, mm -hmm. then and I, feel, I can use that same position to exploit you because I can make you feel like it's not me, but this is the God that you worship. Yes. This is his plan for your life. But let me tell you something. That stronghold is weakening. And I'm going to tell you why it's weakening. Yeah. Because because folks don't go to church like they used to. Folks exactly. ain't dedicated. Folks ain't dedicated to God like they used to. Mm -hmm. Again, black folks don't go to church in groves mm -hmm. like they used to. So now you got a, you got a smaller contingent yeah. that you can manipulate like that. Because when I was coming up, just like you guys, I didn't know nobody that wasn't in church on Sunday. Come on now. Now, I mean, the whole neighborhood was in church on Sunday. Ain't no sense trying to stay home because there wasn't nothing to do. Nowadays, it's hard to find somebody that goes to church on Sunday. So, yeah. I mean, the numbers, the numbers have significantly decreased. And so then the few that's left, they're being super exploited because mm -hmm. these guys' lifestyles ain't changed. It's got better. I mean, yeah. how can you have a congregation of 100 and you riding in a Rolls Royce? <laughs> You got a you got a mansion. Woo. Your closet ain't got nothing but designer stuff in it, Come and you're man. bragging about all of this. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, something, <laughs> something went wrong somewhere. Even even so, Jimmy, that your congregation is lacking. Yeah. Oh, at yeah, the they're, same they're, time, they're their lives they're, are, let me tell you are, something. are so so miserable just behind the fact that you're you're telling them to put their children, their, their, their food, their, you don't pay your bills, don't pay your, your you know, Man, anything for your, for your home to where you dwell, mm -hmm. don't pay your car, You look, don't you look at the first. average salary, look at the average salary of some of those churches, and you look at the how many of them on governance, government assistance, and you look at the ones that are struggling every day, mm -hmm. and then compare that to the pastor's lifestyle, when he got four or five matches, a private jet, so on and so forth, none of that makes sense to God. I mean, we can make it make sense and we can justify anything. Oh, just well, like that, yeah. you know, I got to have that because I'm the one got to travel around the world and reach other people. Yeah. I'm the one that don't need to be spending time in, in regular <laughs> domestic travel because I, be, I got to be a place on time to do certain things Come on now. and so on and so forth. Come well, on. and God wants me to be rich. Well, he, you ain't the only one he wants to be rich. Yeah. What about what about what about that 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 single mother down there that don't have a car 
that's struggling, that's getting them food stamps and struggling every day. He, he don't want to be rich. Oh, it's just a group of folks that need to be rich. He don't want to enrich everybody. But you know, I mean, you know, even even Aaron Rodgers gave up some of his salary to get a better team. Mm. Even 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 uh, my boy from the Brady. Patriots, old quarterback. Yeah, Brady, didn't take yeah. as much money as he could take personally yeah. because he knew he couldn't do it by himself. He needed he needed to subdivide to help other people. Look, if we don't have I mean, it's heathens yeah. that have more of a, a mindset of spreading the wealth than, than a lot of church folks and a lot of pastors. They come on now, let's just call it what it that's is. True. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. The exploitation of people is easy, especially if I make them feel like it's a religious right or if I can endorse it with the name of God. You know, this is exactly. what God would have you to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Another yeah. gospel. Well, look, what's the good question? Another, another gospel. Uh, yeah, another yeah. gospel. Even use exactly. To, to, to further their, their efforts. You know, they're going to say, well, if you ain't tithing, <laughs> then we ain't helping you. Like, we only we only support tithers in here. What, what yeah, and then, like? and then they have little raffles and yeah. little different things they're going to do for certain people. But because you wasn't a tither, you don't even qualify to benefit from this thing. Exactly right. Come on, brother. Yeah. That's I, it. Come on. How can, how, how, is that what Jesus did? He walked around <laughs> and he he healed the ones that actually was coming up and showing up to his crusades all the time that was there listening to him. Yeah. Or the Bible said when he went into a city, every sick person come on now. was made well. Come Everybody on. got he did. healed. He didn't, he, he didn't say it was a certain group, folks. Yeah, come on, man. He didn't do on. that now. Yeah. But so how can we justify that? Yeah. Yeah. We are talking about at the first the first church. Yeah. I mean, nobody lacked. That's what the Bible says. Nobody Nobody lacked. Lacked. Them that had more gave. Gave. So the ones that didn't have. So that it was distributed to those who were lacking. Exactly. And I care how many people how many people be coming back to church? Ministry. How did we get lost in that? Let me ask, let me just say this too though. The thing about it is I've learned, I've learned something, you know. The people that if the people that really study the Bible and the people that really understand the Bible and really know scriptures, mm -hmm. they can make they can make that book say the thing they wanted to say. Look at the Hebrew Israelites that study it all the time. Yeah. You don't have to be in context. It doesn't have to make sense. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to be rightly divided. If you're talking to an ignorant person that doesn't really know the Bible Woo. and you got a thousand scriptures memorized. You can spin that person's head around like a swivel and make them think that, oh my God, this guy's the second coming because you know the scriptures and they don't. That's ignorance. And they play on just like the cops when they pull you over mm. or just like the law. They yeah. play on the fact that you're ignorant of the law and you don't know no better. So you end up doing things that you don't constitutionally or protected against having to do. But yeah. since you don't know that, they have you to self-incriminate. It's they the same do. thing. If you don't know the scriptures, yeah. anybody that got an elementary understanding of the scriptures <laughs> can make you think whatever they want you to think exactly. that the scripture said. And that's the biggest problem what's going on right now is because enough people don't study the scriptures, they don't know the Bible, and you got to select few or a certain couple groups or whatever that study it. And not to say they study it, they study it from the position of manipulation. Yes. They're trying to weaponize the Bible for their benefit. And that's exactly what they do. And not just them. A lot of our own churches that we attend, yeah, that's true. a lot of our own black churches, they yeah. weaponize the scriptures mm -hmm. to manipulate. In other words, let me just say it. I'm sorry to everybody that disagrees. It's witchcraft. Yeah. Amen. It is a form of witchcraft. If, if, and that's why that's why I think, you know, if I think it's Galatians, isn't Galatians or the way he said, who bewitch you? That's it? Galatians. That's yeah. Galatians. That's what he said, right? Who bewitch you? Exactly. There you go, bro. Scripture's backing up what you said. Who yeah. bewitch yeah. you to do that? And that's why, you know, the ones we call it, the scripture I was going to uh, open up with, it says that too. It said, that's what I told you, I was showing you the other gospel. Because uh, it's very clear that we were so moved. And, I, you know, it's kind of a thing about Brother Addison, we're talking about history, historically, right? Because we are talking about historically it happened, right? It, it's funny how the gospel was already saying that, uh, that it was going to happen. Uh, where it says right here, look, go ahead and read that for us anyway, if you don't buy. Okay, Galatians 1 6. Yeah. I marvel that you are so soon removed mm. from him. Mm. And called you into the grace of Christ mm. unto another gospel. Yes, sir. Which is not another. 
But there be some that trouble you yes, sir. and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Yes, sir. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto mm. you, that which we have preached unto you, mm -hmm. let him be accursed. Yes, sir. As we said before, so they I know, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Mm. Or do I now persuade man or God? Mm. Or do I seek to please man? Well, for if I yet please man, mm. I should not be the servant of Christ. Oh, but again, Jimmy, we're talking about the other uh, gospel. Because he, Paul is, I mean, Paul is clearly saying that if you do anything else, you ain't a servant of Christ, right? Well, that's why it's, Go ahead. I'm sorry, sir, to interrupt, but that's why it's important that they discount mm. the teachings of Paul and they go against Paul yeah. with Paul with Paul with Paul because mm. he introduced mm. the gospel of Christ mm -hmm. or the gospel of grace. And mm -hmm. so they have to discount him because mm. he's saying, if anybody preaching you know, the gospel without him preached, if it, if it be an angel or whatever, mm. let him be a curse. And mm. so they can't, they're not gonna ever preach on those scriptures because mm -hmm. if it does, it's gonna contradict what they're trying to say because Ooh. they gotta diminish Paul in the eyes of people. Otherwise, you have to, you have to, what are you gonna do with Paul's teachings? That, that, mm. What are you gonna do with Paul? That's why I ask him all the time. Yeah. So what are you gonna do with Paul? Mm. You just can't tear out of the Bible that which you don't agree and use the rest. And that's why the Bible emphatically teaches. And and, and I'm just saying this because some people are gonna say, well, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I may be wrong, but this is what I'll say to the Bible. And even the Bible said it, that this thing got to be rightly divided. Yes, right divided. And if you can't rightly divide, you're never gonna understand it because some people speak the truth that mm. is in the word. Mm. There is a scripture that says that. Mm -hmm. But that was from a different dispensation, mm -hmm. a different time frame, which God was dealing with people, and therefore comes in the rightly divided. Because if he said that you got to rightly divide it, that's common sense yeah. would tell you mm -hmm. that some people are unrightly divided. Unrightly, yeah. Fred Price yeah, yeah, they, they yeah. Can't, you can't have one without the other. Yeah. And so I do believe in learning how to rightly divide. And then if you can't do that, then again, you're going to be, you might well just call yourself the manipulated, because that's exactly what you're going to get, manipulated. Exactly. exactly. So, and I think, go ahead, go ahead. Well, the thing is, the word in and of itself says it all. Yes, this sir. is rightly divine. Second Timothy. That means that there is division in the word, but it still all lines up, line upon line, precept, precept upon precept, precept Come on, little, very little. So the thing is, you can't teach the Old Testament without adding the gospel to it and showing the types and shadows. I yes. tell this to everybody. You can't do away with the Old Testament because they are types and shadows of the new. They show Yeshua in prophecy. Come on. And so if you teach the Old Testament and don't relate it, to the gospel, I think you're you're leading people astray. Exactly. And that's when you find people uh, uh, abusing mm -hmm. scriptures. Yeah. That's you you he, call it leading. You call it leading people astray. I call it manipulating the masses. But yeah. we're saying the same thing. Yeah. Right. They just manip. They know what they're doing. And I, I mean, they know it. They know exactly <laughs> what they're doing. Hey, look, I call it preaching another gospel. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the Bible calls it. That's, that's exactly what, what the Bible calls You know, it. it's just as simple as, as doing this. And I like to take everything to the nth degree, then it makes sense. In other words, let's say, for instance, for, uh, uh, in other words, like, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, having your sex change. Well, if, every, if everything was a man and we just did that and everything was good with that, how long would society last? It wouldn't. That goes mm -hmm. to show you it can't be it can't be the right direction because it doesn't right. make sense. It yeah. doesn't last, it doesn't self-sustain itself to the nth degree. Okay, go back to Genesis. Okay, obviously there had to be some incest going in, going on to populate the whole earth. Yes. I mean there had to be to populate the whole earth. He's gonna go for the mother populate the whole earth. What for eight people? So somebody had to do somebody that was yeah. cousins to somebody or whatever, in my mind. Now I could be wrong about that. No, no, but it's in true. my mind. It did. Yeah. So well, hey, should man. we still 
should we still be having sex with our cousins and stuff now? Wait, but Sarah, so, Sarah, look, Sarah was his uh, sister. Say that now. Say that now. And that's was. scripture. Yeah. So should we still be doing that nowadays? It's, it's not the same. That's yeah. why you got to rightly divide it. it exactly. Whatever. Well, just because it was true then. Yeah. Make it true now. And right. that's and that's what a lot of people need to understand. That's the statement right there. Yeah. Just because that is a truth. And what you just spoke and quoted is absolutely the truth. And it was true then. Yes, sir. My question is, is it true now? Right. And that and then then that, that that's gonna make the difference right there. That's rightly divided. When you can do that and know, then you're rightly divided. If you can't do that, you're yeah. saying everything is all everything is the same, regardless of what era. What dispensation? Where have I bring it from? It's the same. It's well, the same. I'm gonna be leery. <laughs> yeah, well, in my, my opinion is um the first sign of something is going wrong when a denomination or whatever tries to go tries to take me back to live by the old testament laws. And I know exactly. something's wrong. Which we I know fail, something wrong. Which, which we fail in the first place. You know, you had an expiration date. Yeah. And that's why I said I put in a second. I want everybody to see what you're talking about. Second Timothy two fifteen. Study to show that self approval to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's Second Timothy two fifteen, which is what Jim was talking about. Come on about. now. I just want to make sure people know because one of the things is we gotta stop. Uh, how many people we talked about it many times in the past that we knew that they have a Bible sitting in the back seat of the car. And it only comes out just to carry it into the church service and then go back to the back seat of the car. Hey, man, God bless you. We, once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday, uh, the uh, 5th or the 6th of August. Uh, and, and, and you really need to take a look at this. And, 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 and analyze the scripture, see? And I'm gonna talk about the fact is that there's people today, as well as documented history of people preaching, teaching, authorizing another gospel. And what I mean another gospel mean is that our gospel is, which may stand for good news, is to love one another. Our gospel is that God sent his son, his only begotten son. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. His body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You, you can't kill God, amen? But you can, God sit there and put himself in the flesh, incarnated for the flesh, amen? So the point I'm saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's that's the teaching of the gospel, and that all of us can receive it. Don't mean we're gonna be forced to do it, and that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can you force somebody to be a believer, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation, the gospel is a gift, and you don't make people receive a gift, you offer the gift. And for us as sowers and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen. So well, I think you're gonna love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave comments if you if you want to make comments. Um, but just understand these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage we talked about earlier is. Don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen? So don't forget that. I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week so you can grow and other people can learn from it as well, amen? I just encourage you to do that, you know? And I put that here, the scriptures, it says no other gospel which is in Galatians 1, 6, said, I marvel you so soon removed from him that called you to the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. 
But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so I say it now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be accursed. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I proceed or seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we're trying to cover. And we talked about it. Some great discussions. So I hope you enjoy the the uh, session that we went through today. And uh, we will see you when we see you. I'm gonna break this down in about from from A all the way to G if necessary. Uh, for you to look at, analyze, and study. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. I bless you. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support, and continue to do what you believe is right, and continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel. Amen. God bless you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. All right. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the 